After you've replaced the membrane head and the fill solution in the sensor, you're going to need to zero the sensor. You do this by taking a glass of non-chlorinated water and throwing a little salt in there so it's conductive enough for the reading. Place it in the cup holder and then take the sensor and place it in the water. Now you're going to need to swirl the sensor around a few times so that no air bubbles are trapped or on the membrane head. Then you're going to leave it in there for a minimum of two hours. We recommend that you do this maybe at the end of the day, then you come back in the morning and you're able to uh, have a solution that's ready for you and you can then zero the, uh, the sensor. The thing to remember when you're zeroing the sensor is not to look at the parts per million. What you need to look at are the zero nanoamps. That's down here in the bottom right corner on this model 56. If you have a different model, I'll show you how to get to it. You're going to go to info, you're going to go to sensor 1, then you're going to need to find the sensor current. It's right now reading at negative 3.7 nanoamps. Here's the second line item on the display. Now the key is that it has to be between negative 10 and 10 nanoamps. And it's been stable for quite a while, so I know it's ready to be zeroed. So I go on to the next step where I'm going to actually zero the sensor. I'm going to exit. Now I'm going to go to enter for the menu. I'm going to go to calibrate and I'm going to do sensor 1 as it's our free chlorine sensor and I want to do a zero sample. Here I am, I'm going to hit enter for the zero calibration and it's going to tell me to wait for, I don't know, about 10 seconds. I'm going to hit enter for accepting the zero calibration and then I'm going to hit exit and go back to the start. Now I have set my zero uh, for the sensor.